He was still thinking about the difficult bend. Thomas went too fast and gave the coaches a mighty biff. The carriages rolled along the line and bumped into James. Watch what you're doing, James snorted. Sorry, Thomas puffed. Thomas was missing Annie and Clarabelle. He would never have biffed into them. Soon, Thomas was on his way to pick up the workers at the new station. Difficult bend, difficult bend, he puffed nervously. The difficult bend came nearer and nearer. Thomas was supposed to slow down, but he wanted to get past the bend quickly. So Thomas went faster and faster. The carriages rattled and shook. Soon be over, soon be over, Thomas said to himself. And it soon was. Luckily, no one was hurt. But Thomas felt sadder than ever. Clouds of steam filled the air as Sir Handel huffed and puffed along the line. He was still cross when they reached the top station. Sir Handel was hoping for a rest, but his driver thought otherwise. We'll leave the coaches now and fetch some trucks from the quarry. Trucks? snorted Sir Handel. Trucks? I won't, so there. Sir Handel was about to cause a great deal of trouble. Told you, said Sir Handel. Out of my way! Express coming through! Out of my way! Mail coming through! But Gordon didn't get out of Percy's way. Suddenly, Percy was worried. Oh, my! Oh, no! Oh, help! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Gordon swerved and swayed into a siding. He bashed the buffers and toppled off the tracks. Percy felt terrible. Now, he didn't feel bold at all. He felt very silly. delivered his empty trucks and was making his way back to the shunting yard again. Oh, oh, oh. somebody help me! Uh, hello? Who's that? Thomas? James, what are you doing up there? Oh, it's you. Oh, I've had an accident. Oh. Accident? Don't come any closer! I think I'm gonna fall! Quickly! Get help! Uh-oh! <laughs> ah! oh! uh -oh. uh -oh. See, James? I told you I was very strong! Yes, thank you. But I still can't get up on the tracks again. Don't worry. I'll go and get help. Oh, it's you. Uh, I'm... I'm sorry for what I said earlier. I thought you were taking one of my coaches and I'm very important passengers to collect. And it's my... Uh, <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh, how rude of me. I should introduce myself. My name's Duchess. Duchess of Loughborough. And mine's Thomas. <laughs> Thomas of Sodor. Now, where was I? Um, did, did I... Are you all right? Uh, what? Oh. No, there's still so much to be done. Um, getting cleaned, polished, finding my coaches, filling up with coal and water, getting polished, picking up my very important passengers. <laughs> I'm sure I've forgotten something. Oh, did I say getting polished? It's all done now, Your Grace. Oh, what? Oh, thank you. 
And thank you for letting me go first, Thomas. Of Sodor. Hi. Where are my coaches? Oh, I remember. So Thomas backed up to collect his old trucks. He collected some coal from the coaling plant. Then he raced across the countryside. Ha! laughed Thomas. I can get these trucks really messy and get the coal to the docks on time. Then there was trouble. The rusty coupling broke. Thomas's trucks were rolling by themselves. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. Thomas applied his brakes, but he stopped too quickly. The trucks bumped into the back of Thomas and the coal spilled all over the tracks. Thomas was stuck. Thomas arrived at the docks, excited to see the jet engine. It was shiny and modern, and Thomas had never seen anything like it. He just couldn't wait to start his journey, but Cranky was taking his time. Hurry up, huffed Thomas. This is a special special. Cranky did not like being told what to do, especially by an engine. He became so cranky that he was careless with his hook. His hook knocked the switch, and the switch started the jet engine. And the engine began to whine. The whine got louder and louder and louder. Uh-oh, said Cranky. Before he could say anything else, the jet engine was rocketing Thomas up the track. Said Thomas. Thomas saw Percy ahead and he saw the photographer. Thomas's firebox fizzed. The photographer is waiting to take a photograph of Percy. If I hurry, I can be in Percy's photograph. Thomas pumped his pistons and raced up to Percy just as the camera flashed. Bye, Percy! Flash, bang, wallop! Percy was so surprised, he bashed and crashed into a siding and straight into a heap of coal. Flatten my funnel. But Thomas didn't know. He was too busy feeling pleased with himself. Hi, everyone. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss another video featuring me and my really useful friends. See you soon. <laughs>